With its twisted, contorted, and downright bizarre bulge, one of Canada's craziest looking trees is drawing quite a crowd. It's pretty incredible, pretty gnarly, like it. They're flocking in from nearby towns and from all over the world. These giant, ancient, and beautiful trees has everyone in awe. I think it's fabulous that we have trees that size. We should have more. Many of these trees, red cedar, Douglas fir, and Sitka spruce, are at least 500 years old. They stand 200 feet in the air and 40 feet across. They're part of a stand of old growth trees in Port Renfrew. It's spectacular. I mean, I've been to a lot of old growth forests, um, but this one really is something unique. You have giant, giant red cedars, but not just big trees, trees of strange shapes. The cedars here have these uh, really funky burls on them. You've likely heard about these beautiful giants. A name like Avatar Grove is not something you can easily shake from your memory. And that's the point. Mind-blowing trees easily accessible to the public. How can you not love a place like this? It's, it's truly West Coast flavor. Uh, you can, you, it's easy to get to and it's a new spot. People may have been to Cathedral Grove or to Fino, um, but this is a new place on the map to come visit. It's been nicknamed Canada's gnarliest tree. The 50 hectare grove was discovered nearly two years ago when TJ Watt was looking for mega trees to use as a backdrop to get people talking about protecting the island's old growth forests. That was in late 2009 and today people are flocking in from places like China and Switzerland to see what the buzz is all about. In just a year and a half, thousands uh, of people visiting hundreds of media articles including international news coverage through uh, Al Jazeera so it's been uh, quite the ride. And as word about Avatar Grove gets out the Port Renfrew Chamber of Commerce says more and more people see it as the town's main attraction. About 95 percent of them want to come out to go to Botanical Beach mm -hmm. and now that's sort of shifting a little bit so that 50 percent of them are coming out for Avatar Grove and they're going to Botanical Beach as a second. Cash says thanks to a lot of international press, the phones are ringing off the hook. And as the grove becomes more and more popular, Cash says Little Port Renfrew is starting to test the waters as an ecotourism town. There's not that many people employed in the logging in industry anymore. And I think a lot of them have their doubts about um, turning into an ecotourist town. But uh, with uh, the Botanical Beach and the West Coast Trail, the Juan de Fuca Trail, and then this right behind it, it's, uh, it's making a big difference in people's minds here. Just down the road from the town's tourist information centre, the owner of Big Fish Lodge says business is really starting to take off. It was even impacting areas outside of Port Renfrew. We're doing the loop now that that road to Lake Couchin is all paved. They start in Victoria, come off the ferry from, from Tawasson, up to Port Renfrew, Avatar Grove, up through to see the Harris Creek Spruce Tree, in through Ubo, up the back way to Bamfield and to Cathedral Grove, and then back down, you know, and take the sh back to Horseshoe Bay to Whistler. And when it comes to protecting this natural treasure, environmentalists and businesses are on the same page. With the Ancient Forest Alliance and all the work they've been doing, if, they can, if we can get the government to back up on them, we can turn it into a provincial park. We're just going to see exponential growth for sure in this region. The Ancient Forest Alliance wants this area to be set aside as a park. While the province isn't making that commitment just yet, it is promising this area won't be logged. In Port Renfrew, I'm Nikki Iwanishan for The Daily.